October was so slow. Man, why is nobody calling? How am I gonna get new customers? Let me check my email. Is my number working? Nope, nothing. Ah, dang it. This is so frustrating. Man, oh, is that a call? Oh, no. Man, how do I get more business? Oh, I need to get some more business fast. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back to the Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel. I'm Adrian Boisel, CEO of Adrian Graphics and Marketing. I got an exciting one for you guys today. If you are struggling to find customers, you're struggling to get business and stay busy during this time, there is an answer. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna show you guys where to get new customers, where to find traffic, like my friend Russell Brunson in Traffic Secrets, where to get traffic, and what are the best places that I use to get customers? And I gotta be honest, these aren't areas that I've always been the best at. I've slacked off in certain areas, but there's always things that I've been doing consistently that have kept me busy enough to build what I wanna build. And now that I'm reaching that next level, I know I'm gonna have to step my game up in some of these other areas. So today's video is the seven areas where you can drive traffic back to your business. I might even throw you a bonus at the end if you stick with us. So let's get right into it. So the first one is your website. I know this sounds super simple, but a lot of web designers and graphic designers don't even have a website. If you don't have one, you need to build one. There are some good sides to websites and there are some bad sides to websites. So I want you to understand both of those things very quickly here. The first one is actually understanding that it's gonna take a lot of work and effort on your part to create content that people wanna read and consume, and then also for it to show up on Google. So you're gonna have to invest money in links, you're gonna have to invest money in directory submission, you're gonna have to invest money in all different aspects of your website, maybe even a web designer. And you know, I have a great community for you to connect with web designer. If you're a graphic designer and you need a web designer, go to Instagraphics Pro Network, that's huge. Some of the good things about a website is if you position it correctly and you make those investments, you can actually get traffic back to your website like I do, and you can turn that traffic into customers. That's gonna bring you business, and it's your property, traffic that you own and that you can control, which is beautiful. Other platforms like we're gonna talk about, you don't have that same level of control. It's traffic that you're essentially renting or traffic that you're basically funneling towards you, but if they change their algorithms, you lose it. Which brings me to number two. LinkedIn, and I put LinkedIn as number two because I think it's the second most powerful platform for graphic designers, web designers, and motion designers. I think it's seriously underrated, and a lot of people are using it the wrong way. They're spamming it, they're just not implementing the LinkedIn strategies that we implement into our business, and so they just give up on it. And they're like, oh, I'm not using LinkedIn to grow my business. Why? All the business owners, all the decision makers, everybody that you wanna to get to without gatekeepers is there. So definitely LinkedIn is a huge one. Now the downside again is there's spam on LinkedIn. I get clients every single week that are contacting me and I'm funneling people from my LinkedIn automatically to my Facebook group as well. So you may be watching this video because you found me on LinkedIn. Chances are I was running a LinkedIn automation, LinkedIn tool that helped me get those messages to you and helped me build those relationships. The key with LinkedIn is building real relationships. So I don't start off with like, hey, you wanna come check out and hop on a quick phone call? It doesn't start off like that. Have genuine interest and curiosity in the person that you're talking to and build an authentic relationship. That spam stuff on LinkedIn will go nowhere. And then there's also LinkedIn groups, which is a really great thing. This is one of the bonuses that I love about LinkedIn is you can get into the groups and networking industry groups like solar contractors, roofing contractors, web designers, graphic designers. There's all kinds of communities like digital marketing all kinds of great communities that you can jump into and take advantage of and add value to. That's the biggest thing. It's not about taking advantage of, but taking advantage of it, the opportunity and then adding value into that group by sharing your knowledge, sharing your work, sharing your portfolio. That's a really, really great option for you, okay? And then number three, and this is a popular one, is Facebook. Now we know the downside of Facebook is there's a lot of, if you put up post or somebody puts out a post looking for a graphic designer, the chances are there's gonna be three, four, five, even 10 people or more that are recommended on there. Everybody's on Facebook, it's a crowded platform, it's a noisy place, it's filled with distractions, and it's a very difficult place to get a conversion. A lot of people are very guarded on Facebook. So my recommendation to you is to use the Facebook groups, and again, like LinkedIn, build authentic relationships. This is super important to build those authentic relationships and just try to add value. If you see somebody asking a question, chime in. If you see somebody asking for a referral, chime in. Even if it's not something about your business, if you can recommend a friend of yours or a colleague of yours or somebody that you've worked with, that you've been happy with and someone's looking for that service, just be a helpful type of servant. And that's really, really important. Now, number four is 
Instagram. Instagram is also owned by Facebook, which is a great tool, but it's an awesome place to showcase your work and grow an audience using hashtags. And I gotta be honest, this is probably the biggest area for me that's a struggle because hashtagging, uploading photos, uploading carousels, uploading the reels, all the different things that Facebook has to offer, I mean, sorry, Instagram has to offer can be really daunting. There's so much time that needs to be invested into Instagram and it can take some time for you to get there. So I can understand how a lot of people stray away from it. It's what I've done, but it is a powerful, powerful tool. There's no better platform out there as far as I'm concerned for a graphic designer to showcase the quality of his work that he does. And so if you, you guy or gal, if you focus on, on showcasing your work there and using the right hashtags, not like graphic design, but something more specific like graphic design trends or graphic design advice or graphic de design tips, those are some ways that you can implement. Or logo design portfolio or things like that. So there's lots of ways that you can implement and use growth strategies for Instagram, but that's a really important way that you can funnel that traffic back to you. Make sure you put a link in your bio, make sure you put a link to whatever other pages you're funneling into, if it's a sales funnel, things like that. Now number five, and this is a huge one, and this is an area that I'm with you guys of because of today, is YouTube. YouTube is a powerful search engine just like Google. It is a powerful, powerful tool to help you reach a big audience with videos, building personality, building connections, sharing your emotions, sharing your heart and your passions with people is huge. And it's also a great way to add value once again and dominate for a specific keyword. Maybe that keyword is graphic design training or maybe that keyword is the business of design like mine is. If you're a graphic designer and you wanna showcase your work and show how good you are, then you can, out, can go out there and actually do some of your projects on a screen recording. And then take those screen recordings that you have from your MacBook, from Camtasia, whatever software you wanna use, and upload those into YouTube. Then you're gonna be seen as an expert in your field because you're creating content and people are watching you go through your process of developing brands and logos and designs, which is super cool. People love those visual things to be able to see the visual elements of what you're doing. So that's a really big one for you. And then the next one here is email. Man, email is honestly another one that I've slacked off on. I don't personally like email for myself. It's not my strategy, but it does work. It's highly effective for many, many businesses. It just takes a lot of my time and checking my email throughout the day just drives me crazy. So it's not something that I personally do, but I know my team lives and breathes email. They're all about email. And even though I'm not on the email bandwagon, I'm on the Facebook groups and other, other parts of my business like LinkedIn. And there's just too many things for me to focus on. So I had to focus on what I love to do. And I think LinkedIn and Facebook groups are where it's at for me. But email is a powerful tool. Downside is it's, it's gonna be time consuming. Upside is, is it's cheap. You don't have to pay anything unless you're gonna buy an email list, which I really don't recommend. I, I feel like you should create value in the marketplace and then have an email sign up newsletter or drive people, drive traffic back to a sign up newsletter and build your emails that way. That way it's gonna be warm people, warm traffic, and you're not gonna be just cold emailing people. And that's just gonna be spamming. You don't wanna do that anyway. All right, and number eight, and this is a big one. You may have never heard about this one, but it's Google or Google My Business. A lot of you probably have heard about it. I use Google every single day. It's a huge tool for me. Between uploading photos that are geotagged into your Google My Business, filling out all of your services that are in there and putting geographical keywords so you can rank in your area, uploading posts on a regular basis at least once or twice, maybe even three times a week on there is gonna increase your visibility, making sure you have all the categories that you possibly can, just making sure that you have a good reputation, you respond to your reviews, and that you actually go out and get reviews. These are all important elements of Google. And then you also gotta think about Google search, right? Google search is a really, really big one. If you can rank that website at the top of the Google search, you're going to see a significant amount of traffic come to your website. If you have great content on the website, the natural thing is, is you're just gonna see a huge influx of business. So those are the seven. And I told you if you stuck with me till the end, I would give you a lucky bonus, number eight. That's my lucky number. And number eight is Craigslist. Lo and behold, I was recently talking with a few friends of mine and I noticed that Craigslist is still one of the most popular websites on the internet, like top 10. And so there's a ton of traffic still happening on Craigslist. I know when I had my printing company, this is what helped me explode my business. Yeah, word of mouth was my biggest portion of my business, but I was generating dozens of calls per day from Craigslist, and here's the downside, low quality. Kind of like what I talked about a few weeks ago in my other video about what, what pond are you fishing in or what body of water are you fishing in, that's the pond. You're not gonna find big fishes, big corporations aren't searching there for providers, but what you will find is hungry business owners that are trying to find a good deal, that are trying to find somebody to help them, that are desperate for an expert. So if you're in the beginning stages of your business, Craigslist is a great place to put your business in front of people, but you gotta remember that the quality is not gonna be as high. 
but this is a great one. I've used it. I'm using it again just to increase the volume of people that I'm talking to on a daily basis and how many offers I can make. So that's all eight of them for you guys. I hope this really helped you guys out. You should be able to go out there and generate traffic, but keep this in mind. You gotta have a great offer. And if you don't have a great offer, that's another video for another day. So I would really encourage you guys to really focus on creating an irresistible offer and make sure that you actually do something that's gonna be authentic to you. Don't just copycat somebody else. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you got value out of this. And also tell me which one of those that you use the most for your business. It's super important that I hear back from you guys. I wanna know what's working for you guys. So hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, keep looking up.